Hello guys. Welcome to part two of the moving vlogs. If you guys haven't seen the first part, I'll link it in the description box below. Oh, I don't have service down here. I need to figure out where I'm going. So we are officially moved into the new place, pretty much unpacked. There's just a lot of organizing that still needs to be done. We're also waiting on a few furniture pieces and I need to buy a bunch of stuff just like a closet organizer, a shoe rack, some stuff for the bathroom because we have two bathrooms now. So I need another bath mat, soap dispenser, just like random things like that. This video will probably be mostly me like picking up stuff for the house and just getting everything together. Right now I have to take my car in. It's due for an oil change and the batteries are dying in my, um, in my fog. I'm back at a gym. I signed up for one downtown. I'm gonna try to do a class or just get a workout in. Oh, I forgot a package. I need to ship something. I'm gonna have to head back to the Burbs this week because there's a lot of packages that have been dropped off at my old address. Luckily, I know the girl that's living in my apartment so I can pick them up from her, but it's still a pain having to drive out there. I am just leaving BMW. I think I'm gonna go to Ikea now because there's a bunch of stuff that I need that I think I could pick up there. Here are a couple things that I picked out from Ikea. So I got this gold tray for $20. I'm gonna use this for my perfumes. I also got two of these glasses. I think these were $4 each. We just don't have any glasses like this for having like a, a drink, you know? I just got two of those. This is the Calax. is that how you say it? Uh, I'm gonna put this together now and throw it in my closet. I'm hoping it fits. Okay, I just missed it. Tika just knocked over this mirror. I cannot believe it didn't break. I think this will come off. It fell onto these chairs, but you guys, it was so loud. And now she's hiding. She's probably so scared and thinks that I'm mad. I can see her under the bed. <laughs> Tika, what happened? What happened? Did you knock over the mirror? Was that really scary? You're okay, come here. Are you scared? Did the mirror hit you? Well, we know she's gonna stay away from the mirror now. Also got this bath mat and just a very basic toilet bowl cleaner. I'm gonna test out this tray. This is what I have currently. I got this at HomeSense quite a few years ago. I've had it in like the past two or three houses. I'm just not really into how it looks anymore. So we're gonna try the gold. All right, that is the new perfume tray. I think it looks so much better. I do need to clean off some of these bottles, but yeah, I found this in the kitchen section. I think it's actually like a serving tray. Good morning, guys. I don't think I've washed my hair in like a week and this face mask has been on for over an hour. It's starting to like peel off my face by itself. I'm gonna wash this off my face, finish getting ready. I'm actually gonna be heading into the gym pretty soon. I signed up for a boxing class and Steven's in it too. You usually pair up, so it'll be nice. I'll just pair up with him. I still need to get a whole bunch of stuff on that list. I need more hangers, a garbage bin, a toothbrush holder. No, I might just hit up Walmart or something like that because I know, like I'm pretty sure I got some of my hangers from there before. One thing I would love to do is buy the gold metal hangers off of Amazon. I'm sure you can buy them anywhere, like a bunch of places, but they just look so cool. That will be something I do later on maybe. We'll see if I actually end up getting around to that. We are doing some turkey bacon. So loud. <laughs> and some eggs just with onion, some salt and pepper. That is breakfast for today. I don't eat a lot of eggs and meat, but I bought turkey bacon the other day, so getting in the protein. I just got back. 
back from a Walmart run and I'm honestly pretty surprised by some of the stuff they have sometimes. Like they have quite a bit of home decor and just like home things. So I got two sets of these hangers because we needed more of that. I got a shoe rack. This was like 12 bucks or something and it's the right size for my closet. I'll show you guys a few more things that I got for the bathroom. I'm just gonna bring it upstairs. I got this refill of soap because I got a soap dispenser instead of getting just like an actual like container of soap, you know? Um, so I thought this would look really pretty. Sticking with the marble theme since the floors are marble. I found this garbage can and it literally matches the marble in here perfectly and this little marble container for toothbrushes. We were out of toothpaste, so I also got that. So that is what the new additions look like. I feel like they just go perfectly with this bathroom. Um, I do think I wanna get some sort of organizational system over here so we can have a few things up on the counter because we both have like her bags of stuff that we use every day. But I haven't fully decided. I had a plant in the corner before, but I don't like how it looked, so I took it away. Tika. Are you gonna come downstairs? Come on, you can go on the patio. Come on. She's so cute. Good job. So this was $12 for a reason. This is the cheapest thing I've ever seen. It's like a piece of plastic and then these metal rods and I don't even know if it's gonna stay together and I don't know how I'm gonna do this. How are you supposed to do this? This is so janky. Shoe rack is in. It is not high quality at all, but uh, it'll do. I just picked up all the packages. These glasses are still broken. I really need to fix them. I'm just not gonna wear them. They're so freaking annoying. Here. Yeah, just picked up my packages and now I am at HomeSense. I wanna get black towels. I just got pink towels, but I don't like them in the new bathroom. Everything is marble and I just want it to be like black and white and just like modern and contrasted and I think it's gonna look cool, but I've been looking for black towels and I can't find any. I saw some at a different home sense location, but they were juicy couture and they had like some white stripes on the ends and I didn't like it. I just want like plain black towels. I'm gonna go into home sense here and um, hopefully more luck at this location. Update, they had no black towels and then I was gonna buy a black soap dispenser, but there was a huge line and I didn't, was not gonna wait in that line for a soap dispenser. So there's a bed bath and beyond just across the street. I'm gonna run in there. I feel like they'll have black towels. All right, we had success at Bed Bath & Beyond. I got two towels, 15 bucks each. The hand towel was 12 bucks. And then I also got a bath mat. This was on sale for $17. We'll see how it looks. I have a receipt just in case. So this is the bathroom right now with the pink. I mean, I don't mind this color pink, but just like the pinks together don't go. And I just think it's gonna look nice just like being like black and white. I know I really don't have any color in my house. But that's just how I like it. And I can always swap these back if I feel like it. I'm going for a monochrome look. Also, my hair sheds like crazy. And anytime I go in the bathroom, I have to vacuum. That's a problem. I wasn't gonna get white because it gets dirty so fast, but this one is 100% cotton, I think, but you can just put it in the wash. So I think that looks nice. I should probably throw the towels through the wash before using them, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. So that is the black and white look. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is that when you move the door, it fucks up the rug. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. You guys, I am pulling out a jacket today. This is unheard of. It is cold and wet outside today. I'm hoping we get a few more hot summer days before the season is over, but this week calls for a lot of rain. I'm sure we'll get warmer later on in the day. It's like 8.30 right now. I'm heading to the gym. I signed up for a band burner class, so it's just resistance training basically. So happy to be back at a gym. I've been doing a bunch of the classes and just using like cardio machines. I need to get over my fear of using the weights at the gym. It's just it's so awkward. I know a lot of people can relate to that, but it's one of those things like 
it shouldn't be, you know? I'm gonna head out to my class, and then when I get home, I'll show you guys the bathrooms. I know it's not that exciting, but I may as well show you guys kind of like the finished look. And then I'm gonna sign out for this video. Need to get it up for Monday, which is today. I'll check back in after my class. I don't know if I'm allowed to park here. I can't tell if this is permit parking or free parking. We're just gonna take a take a chance here. I'm done at the gym. I went home, ate breakfast. I'm back out now, and I'm on the hunt for eucalyptus. I want to get a bunch to hang in the shower. I called a florist that's just around the corner here, and they said they sell it. You can buy just like a couple strands or a bunch. I feel like it'll be spa-like, and it's aromatherapy. There's different benefits to it. It's like anti-inflammatory, anti-stress. I have heard that it can be toxic to dogs, but I think that's if they ingest it. I need to do a little more research on that. I'm just gonna keep her out of the bathroom. I also need to get a shower caddy. I think that's what it's called There's no ledges or anything in the shower. So just to hold products I want to get like a little probably a corner unit or there's the ones that just like stick onto the wall I'm heading into Welks currently. It's a general store I feel like they'll have shower caddies and then I'm gonna head over to the flower shop after the shopping trip was a success I got this beautiful bouquet of eucalyptus it smells so good i found this at the flower factory on main street it was grown locally and it's very fragrant the thing is it's not going to stay fresh for very long it'll probably only be good for a few days so i'm going to hang it in the shower and then i'm going to dry it and i found the shower caddy at welks which is also on main street so successful outing the shower caddy is secured i thought it was gonna look ugly but it actually matches quite well i'm gonna be doing an instagram post with loctane for the almond shower oil this stuff smells so good um so i think that like having this and the eucalyptus will be like a really pretty picture and then i cannot wait to actually shower and use this and have the eucalyptus is gonna be so nice so this is really simple i've watched a bunch of videos and read articles and stuff you literally just tie your eucalyptus into a bunch and then hang it upside down you want it to be behind your shower head and you don't want it to well actually see some people put it where like the water actually gets it but this bunch is actually already secured with a rubber band so it makes it really easy for me you guys this smells so good i'm so glad i found that shop i have this piece of twine and then we're just going to connect this to the shower if you have someone to hold it it's going to be a lot easier I am just going to whip this around a couple times. And my battery might die on me, by the way, so I'll show you guys the finished look once this is secured. Super simple, that is what it looks like. Can last up to a week. The lady at the shop said this will probably only stay fresh for a couple days, so I'll see. I'll just check on it like tomorrow and the day after, and then I'll end up drying it. I swapped the gray towels in here. This is the shower mat. This is like so not aesthetically pleasing with all this stuff that I just removed. Eventually, I would like to get light gray fluffy towels, but it's just not a priority right now. So I'm gonna keep these dark gray towels in here with this gray mat. This one's just from Ikea. They do have some bleach stains on them, so I would like to swap them out, and I just think like a lighter gray would look good in here. I'll show you guys the master bathroom. Okay, so here's the final little update on this bathroom. The black towels are in here now, and the white rug fits. It'll be staying in here. We also have a little water dish because Tika likes to drink water during the night, so we just keep one up here. And yeah, I don't think I'm really gonna do much more with this bathroom. Might put some artwork on this wall. All the walls in this place are really bare just because we haven't put anything up yet. But I kind of like how it's just very minimal black white I'm even matching it today and I will say I really do like the white countertops and the marble but if you are like designing a house remodeling whatever if you shed or have a pet you literally I guess that's mainly for the floors but I have to vacuum like three times a day anytime I come into a room I have to vacuum and these counters you're constantly cleaning them off like they show everything which is really annoying but when they're clean it looks really nice <laughs> so i'm gonna end the vlog here get this posted the rest of the furniture for the house should be showing up this week so i will have a couple more home vlogs and then i'll do a full apartment tour but yeah hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys next monday peace